Here is one last thing we're going to do here before we seal this thing all up and close in all of the uh, all the interior areas. Uh, we're going to give it a little preservative coating. We're using shellac here. It's extremely lightweight, cheap, uh, dries quick, and does seal up the inside. The main claim to fame is it weighs almost nothing. So we can go ahead and put this on without changing the weight of our boat and know in the event that we put a hole in the bottom of this or have some other accident where water saturates our epoxy, uh, we're not going to have a destroyed mess. We are still going to have something that at least has a chance of being salvageable. Uh, after all, our last boat was 20 years old. We kind of like this one to go the distance too. Well, we coated our uh, framework on the bottom and uh, quite liberally came back, tossed our uh, piece of wood in for the cabin floor for the uh, cockpit sole and then took it back out and all the places that uh, it needed glue were marked by having glue on them. So we puckied them up again and puckied up the bottom and this is the last we're going to see of the framing in this boat on the cockpit. We are in the process of gluing on the rails that we pre-shaped a little earlier. This is a two-piece layup here and uh, it's pretty greasy. Uh, we've got our uh, original Part of our original uh, uh, molds for building the shape of the hulls, and we're using those to help us to bend this curve into these two pieces, which not only has to go around the curve horizontally, but also has to go around the curve vertically. So we have to follow the profile as we go, trying to glue these two pieces together and bringing them into the plane of the hull. At the same time we do it, we're using basswood, it works relatively easily, and we're using the air nailer as we go along, because if we don't, we are going to have a heck of a greasy mess we can't control. Here's a hefty quantity of uh, clamping <coughs> and waiting to hold a large quantity of glue in place. We've got all kinds of stuff holding our cockpit sole down. Gallon cans work pretty good, and obviously enough, there are a ton of spring clamps holding our newly completed grab rails together. Tomorrow, when we take all of this off, we're going to be mighty close to being there. We need a cap on top of the grab rails, and we need a forward deck. And that's about it. Well, we're progressing pretty nicely here. This is the uh, the plank mounting holes in the bottom of the boat. Doesn't have hardware on it yet, but they're all in and completed. Uh, and we have the boat flipped over, and we are locating uh, the steering post and the tiller post uh, mounting positions in the skin which is not mounted yet. Uh, we've already got our, uh, our bobstay post hole, and if we come under here and look through here, you can see the drill head sticking through here from a hole saw. Uh, we've got our hardware mounted uh, with four holes, not all of them, but enough to locate this thing, and this allows us to, to uh, pattern this piece a little bit closer. And we've got the same thing going here. You can see there is a little hole down there, and that is the pilot hole. And we're going to flip this over and drill it from the other side on both these holes. Then we can pull off the skin, and uh, when we mount our posts, our steering post and bobstay or and uh, tiller post, we can get a little more glue around it rather than just going at it from the surface because we can do them before we put the deck on. Here you can see the uh, pilot hole for the uh, forward uh, position for the uh, steering post. And here we have the hardware ready to come off from this. We pre-drilled and mounted our hardware so that we can lift this deck section off after the fact, which is a good thing because our 
drill and our hole saw parted ways, this would have been a disaster had the direct deck already been glued on. But here, we can simply pull it out of the way. And uh, this actually makes things considerably nicer. So now we can go ahead, flip this over, use these pilot holes to drill our our positions from this side, and we're going to be right on the money. And we also use this opportunity, since the deck is quite solidly located, to uh, to pattern it basically and draw a line where our cut needs to be. This will make uh, cleaning it up after the fact considerably easier, also. Well, we've got our uh, steering post uh, bushing in place and taped, as well as our uh, bobstay post and our tiller post bushing um, in preparation for putting the top skin on. In this way we can uh, hopefully uh, flip this over and be able to apply a little more goo uh, around the insides of things. Look pretty tight up in the front end there but uh, the steering post shouldn't be too bad. I think we can get to that. This interesting tool right here has allowed us to do what the human hand cannot, reach into some place that is virtually inaccessible, namely up here in the bow. A little difficult to see. We'll just put a little light on the subject and you can see up there that uh, this has allowed us to, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, allowed us to get in here and put some pucky around our our steering posts and on top and the same thing down here which actually has worked out quite nicely so now that everything's all globbered up we're ready to stick the deck on and uh, we have of course <coughs> followed the manufacturer's recommendations relative to uh, epoxying metal which is that we have taken 80 grit sandpaper and uh, have wet sanded the epoxy right into the metal and uh, it seems to work reasonably well. We hope we're going to have a good bond on this stuff. This is sort of a familiar scene. The, uh, the two parts to be glued are laying right here. We uh, repeated our scenario with the forward deck by actually putting it on the glued up surface of the framing and then pulling it back off so we could tell where everything was that needed to be glued and then recoating both surfaces again and right now because we're gonna put this into a situation where it's going to uh, gravity's gonna pull the glue away from the joints we're gonna let it sit here and tack up for a while and hopefully that problem won't be quite so bad and this is really the last time we're gonna see the framing inside the nose of the boat that we spent so much time putting together and uh, it's a good thing that we put our rulers down here and have our photographic evidence in case we have to find something later on well, our forward deck is on uh, clamped taped and we've got a couple of rough blanks here uh, that we're going to use for caps deck caps to cover our grab rails. This one is almost complete or complete enough where you've left it a little bit big so we can sand it down after it's glued on. And here is the deck. Uh, Uncle Ed on the back end and a whole lot of tape. And fit looks nice. Uh, our steering posts are coming through it. And uh, we're progressing pretty nicely here. Here's a look at the, uh, the rail caps. Uh, with all the clamps on them. Uh, everything went reasonably well and uh, this is almost the end of the show. Uh, we've been working a little on our uh, on our seat back. Uh, every time we get a little extra goo that we don't know what to do with we spread it around back here and uh, we're pretty close to being ready to sand this thing. And I think the only thing left now is to put the knee in the middle of the cockpit and install the hardware and make it look pretty. But structurally I think we're just about there.